नमस्कार डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू टू आवर चैनल बाय बाय गुलाब सर एज ए पार्ट ऑफ सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज राइबोसोम यू आर अवेयर अबाउट राइबोसोम्स एज दे आर नोन एज फैक्ट्री ऑफ प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस बट स्टिल एज ए पार्ट ऑफ सिलेबस सो वी हैव टू कवर इट एंड नो अबाउट समथिंग मोर देन वॉट यू नो एंड देर फोर आई मेड ए वीडियो ऑन राइबोजोम otherwise right from 9th class you learn it as a organelles very important organelles present in cell cytoplasm as well as in chloroplast and mitochondria and in prokaryotic cells so there are two types of ribosomes what we know are ats type and 70s type for which i have drawn these two diagrams to make it very easy to understand ribosomes are non membrane bound organelles they don't have membrane although i have drawn this one you look it seems to be look like a membrane but it is not a membrane they are granular structures these granular structures are made up of two subunits ats ribosome and 70s ribosome they are granular structures they are made of two subunits you are you can see it very easily here largest subunit smaller subunit in ats type in 70s also largest subunit smaller subunit and these subunits are called swedberg unit S V E D B E R G Swedberg unit. It is so called because it was that subunits so coefficient that sedimentation coefficient was discovered by Swedberg. Therefore, now these organelles, although it is discovered by the George Faraday, but the unit of subunits name of the subunits is given as a respect to the scientist Swedberg as sedimentation coefficient was discovered by him. what exactly this ats type means as that ribosomes are made up of ribosomal rna and protein they are made up of ribosomal rna and protein but that form a granular structure is larger than subunit with sedimentation coefficient of ats and 70s and therefore they are called ats type and 70s you would have understood what is meaning of sedimentation coefficient okay so here you see this six larger subunit is 60s and smaller is 40s it should be the 100s but why it is not so because when they come together that 20 subunit part of this both the subunit get overlap that has to be minus and therefore up out of that 60s and 40s when it becomes 100s that 20 is minus and therefore it is 80s that question would be in your mind because very often we say 80s 70s we also say that larger subunit is made up of 60s and 40s together it is 100s but it is not clearly mentioned in textbook that why it is called 80s it is because of although the sum of this coefficient becomes 100s but 20s is supposed to be overlap and minus and therefore it become ats that is very clear to you same thing with prokaryotic cell that 70s type of ribosome found in prokaryotic cell chloroplast and mitochondria that what largest subunit is of 40 50 swedberg unit and smaller is of 30 swedberg unit but when they come together they overlap that is what 10s become the common and that has to be minus from total 450s plus 30s it is 80s minus 10s it becomes 70s now very important do these ribosomes exist together all the time no where they are present then in eukaryotic cell they are present in cell type cytoplasm as well as on the wall of endoplasmic reticulum this larger one at remain attached with endoplasmic reticulum in eukaryotic cell and this larger and smaller subunit in prokaryotic cell they remain separated in cytoplasm of the or in plasma of the prokaryotic cell mitochondrial matrix and stroma of the chloroplast but at the time of protein synthesis as you know that they are the factory of protein synthesis at the time of protein synthesis this smaller subunit first join with messenger rna that is what i have clearly mentioned here you can see everything what i am speaking about that is mentioned here as a notes you can refer later after seeing this video you can note down this notes are very important we will get clear idea if question asks what to write in that answer so here i have clearly mentioned during protein synthesis smaller subunit join with messenger rna first now what is messenger rna that is another part you will learn in genetics messenger rna first and then it join to the larger subunit in presence of magnesium ion this is a point for neat it is not like that to prepare for neat in a separate way no 
not bold, not neat concept has to be clear that enable you to understand the question and application of knowledge. Therefore, it should be clear there itself when we learn and having conceptual study. It should not be like that board study is different and neat study is different. I hope you got it. That smaller subunit join first with messenger RNA and then it join to the larger subunit to form that complete unit of protein synthesis in presence of magnesium ion. That is also very important. So see once again, come to the point, come to the first figure again. See, I have mentioned here this 70 is found in prokaryotic cell, chloroplast and mitochondria, 80 is found in eukaryotic cells. Now here I have written where they synthesize ribosome, where they synthesize. Here it is clearly mentioned they are synthesized. Which one? ATS synthesizing nucleolus. What is nucleolus? It's a small granular organelles structure present inside the nucleus. So ATS type of ribosome synthesizing nucleolus and in prokaryotic as they don't have organelles, they don't have nuclear membrane, they have nucleoid, therefore no question of having nuclear membrane so that it will be inside the nucleus and nucleolus. No. They, they are synthesized in cytoplasm, it is clear to mention here. So you can study it as a differentiating, therefore I have drawn separately and it will make you very easy to understand. Also, I have mentioned here all the points as a part of notes you go through. Whatever I, I just told you, everything is there. You can go and you can see everything is mentioned clearly, what I speak of. Now, <coughs> just go through and have a look, see every point is mentioned very clearly which I explained to you, so no need to repeat it. These two subunits come together only when protein synthesis occur. Normally these, they are separated, that what I mentioned, normally they are separated and I mentioned when they come together. Therefore, don't misunderstand that ribosome, both the subunits remain together inside the cytoplasm or end up with endoplasmic reticulum or protoplasm of the prokaryotic cell, chloroplast and mitochondria. They are separated at the time when they need to be synthesized the protein very fastly, they come together as a unit and begin to produce the protein synthesis. See how intelligent these biomolecules are. We are not intelligent, we are intelligent because of these biomolecules. What I am speaking, you are listening, it is because of that functional protein. Who synthesized that protein? This ribosome. So see the importance of ribosome. It is not what learned for 2 mark or 3 mark. It is what we must understand what life is. What what exactly control us and how many things they are very important to be alive for us and therefore as a part of curiosity interest we must learn not for the mass so i hope you would have enjoyed this video and by seeing again and again my video definitely you will clear cut the, get the meaning of my explanation is not for syllabus and mass it is for interest and curiosity so definitely this information will help you to how very correct explanation about this ribosome. Once again, you go through that diagram, draw that diagram, how the diagram and explanation like this only in a separate fashion, so everything will be very clear to you. Once again, these ribosomes are the factory of protein synthesis. They are of ATTS in eukaryotic, 70 is in prokaryote. In eukaryote, they produce in nucleolus. In prokaryote, they produce in protoplast. ATS, they are present in only and only eukaryote. 70s, they present in eukaryote as well as prokaryote, chloroplast and mitochondria. Please remember question for NEET. 70s ribosomes are found in, they will give option A, prokaryote, B, chloroplast and mitochondria, C, chloroplast, mitochondria and prokaryote and D, they will give eukaryotic cells, mitochondria and chloroplast. So you have to write it eukaryotic cell answer because in eukaryotic cell mitochondria and chloroplast is there therefore eukaryotic cell consists of both 70s and 80s ribosome so 70s is not only found in or present in this prokaryotic chloroplast and mitochondria but also in eukaryote because mitochondria and chloroplast are present in eukaryotic cells i hope you got it i am very happy to present this video in front of you i am also happy that you are always visiting our site and seeing our videos once again I appeal you to like and share our channel as well as subscribe it and press bell icon to receive new videos as and when they are uploaded. Thank you. Happy learning.